All right, it's the rundown. Today's rundown is brought to you by Absolute America. That's the hashtag, Absolute America. Absolute is teaming up with Keep America Beautiful, uh, where they're going to donate $1 for every photo that you share using the hashtag, Absolute America. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, we can so, make a lot of money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a pretty cool bottle. This is like, you know, this is like some Americana right here. Uh, so, oh. it's summertime. Nate, cheers, buddy. Cheers. It's summertime. Drink your absolute and uh, keep America beautiful. And, uh, I mean, this is like, it's got me in the summer mood. You know what I mean? It's got, like, the weather's turning. I'm going to have a nice little barbecue soon enough. Are you? A little absolute Ooh. America, you know you're what I mean? You're a barbecue guy. Celebrate Memorial Day uh -huh. the right way. Celebrate America with your absolute vodka. Use the hashtag and they'll it's donate. It's a nice bottle. Absolute America. We start off, we welcome Nate to the rundown. Hi, What's up, baby? You? Good we're to good. be back in beautiful yep, New York City. You were, uh, you were back, you were in Vegas for, for, for how weekend. long? Uh, weekend? Thursday to uh, yesterday. You met, that's a, that's a long Vegas trip. Yeah. You met <laughs> uh, your boy Tiger Woods. Our good friend, uh, fan of the program, Tiger Woods. As we understood, yeah, yes. he, he's, he's actually like knows Barstool pretty well, Tiger Woods. <laughs> He made it seem like he like, really? was, like people he, in his camp have like hashtag Viva in their Twitter he, bro, profile and shit like that. He made so, it seem like he, he like I was always a tiger guy, big tiger guy. Yeah. yeah, I mean I'm not telling you that he's like you know yeah. watching the rundown today, yeah. but like he's very aware of who we you are. And shit. Hello, Tiger. I know you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Got sweet dick, dude. Well, not really. It was a big. It was a weird dick. It was like a big dick. It was yeah. It was, it was sizable, but it was a dick. I wouldn't want. It's a good. It fits him. Right. It was not suitable good, for Tiger, not for John Fidel. Right? That's a great way to put it. It's like you know, listen. You do you, man. Yeah. <laughs> that one. I'll keep my dick. I'm gonna pass on that one. <laughs> uh, we start off with the NBA. The Warriors. They just beat the fuck out of the Rockets. I mean, it was. It was not even a contest. I think the final score was like 41 points. It was bananas. 41, yeah. Uh, and the story being Steph Curry just did his thing. After a shitty performance, and of course the internet with the pendulum swinging back, everyone all of a sudden is basically trashing on Steph Curry, saying he ain't shit. Mm -hmm. uh, quickly reminded people he is, in fact, shit. I, I think he's almost gone into like Larry Bird mode where he just gets bored. Yeah, like he needs I think that like, the Warriors in general. Like, like Bird, you know, has famously shot lefty the whole game. Mm -hmm. like, I think Steph just like, he gets bored, and then once people are like, oh, you suck, he's like, oh, yeah, that's right. I'm just going to go. Yeah, let me flex on you. World again. Yeah. I mean, the Warriors in general are like that. It's like they basically just started trying like 10 days ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's nuts, man. Yeah, I mean, Steve Kerr talked about that in the regular season. He kind like when he let the team coach themselves. Yeah, it's like, I mean, they're just we making have to up do ways something to challenge themselves. To keep ourselves entertained. Yeah. It's like kind of like a game, like, you know, just like, their little fantasy league within their own yep. team. It's like, oh, Draymond's going to coach today. And then, you know, they just, you know, second round of the playoffs, third round of the playoffs, they're like, okay, I guess we're going to turn it on now. Yeah, like you lose a game, like, oh, shit. All right, well, All right, we got to yeah. take it seriously. I guess, yeah, I guess we'll just go beat, like, the team that people said could possibly, like, make Maybe, it a series. perhaps. Yeah. And then they beat them Steph by 41. Even, Steph is so fucking cocky. It's awesome. But, like, yeah. he even <laughs> has that body language where I think it was last year in the playoffs where he was, or maybe it was two years ago, I forget, where he was out for a bit. And then he came back and mm -hmm. he like started doing like he has like that like yeah, the walk. Like, yeah. I'm back. Yeah. He kinda had that again last night. He That's had, like, it. I mean two different times we kinda did that again. I think he just caught wind, like, oh wait, Twitter's like making fun no. of me a little bit. <laughs> Interesting Splash. Dave didn't want to call in today and talk. Uh, Celtics. Yeah, that, that didn't go that. Uh, well for them. Yeah, Big basketball know. guy here. Yeah, I gambled on that game actually. Wow. I was with like a bunch of my friends out on Saturday, and they, they were all gambling. I was like, all right, put me down for one fifty. Didn't work. <laughs> Oops, didn't haven't work. paid it yet. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I still have not lost that bet. Yeah, listen, the uh, there was only yeah, obviously you have to win that game if you're the Celtics. You go down three zero, the series is over. So it was a must win. Uh, the only way to really turn that game into like a momentum shifting positive for um, for the Cavs, I think, is to do exactly what they did. Like, that was the only, like, to me, that was a big-time W. Oh, yeah. I mean, like that, I, I know that, you know, LeBron had that time off, maybe an extra couple of days off. They gave him Tuesday to Saturday. Yeah. Maybe that's the difference. Just ridiculous. But it yeah, is. It's who crazy. Said it? One of the but, coaches I mean, we needed it were old. Like, yeah. Like, yeah we I, needed I, you know, obviously, you got to come back out and try to replicate that. But that was a quick, like, oh, wait a minute. Again, almost like Steph was. It's yeah. like, Hang on. Absolutely. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Dave was talking about dynasties. <laughs> like, you know, all of a sudden you lose by fucking 30. This game, if this series goes 2-2, two, two, things, you know, it's a whole different scenario than it was four days ago. Whatever. So don't rule out LeBron James. Is that what I'm learning? Yep. Okay. That's, that's a pretty okay, good That was thought. always my fear, too, before that tournament, before that tournament, before that series yeah, you started. started. Yeah. Like, <laughs> everyone in Boston was like, baby LeBron. Like, you it's, don't want it's that. something we experience all the time with people like, give me Tom Brady. 
And you're gonna you get them. Get them. Yeah. You're gonna get them. I mean, them. <laughs> listen, you know, they they lost the first two on the road and they come back home. If the Cavs win their two at home, it's like exactly how the NBA series are usually supposed to play out. Yeah. Let's relax. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't want to play LeBron James in a game seven because he's just gonna say I'm no. LeBron James. Yeah, that's why. I mean, you, you almost have to you have to win in in five almost. Yeah. I feel like because if this if this starts going the distance at all, LeBron James goes into LeBron. He's mode. LeBron. Uh, post game with the Warriors last night. Charles Barkley asks Durant in the post-game interview, is Draymond as annoying in person as he seems to be? Durant uh, replied, why don't you go ask him that yeah. yourself? Go down to the locker room and ask that to his face. Is Draymond Green as annoying in person as he is, as he is on, in, on television? No idea who. You should go talk to him yeah. downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying, is, oh, is, is, is he annoying? I mean, you're, 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 around him, you're around him every day. He's That's annoying he on do. television. What he, annoys you about a Draymond? He's going to apologize to him. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, downstairs, does. you can go ask yeah, him. Go ask, ask him, man. It's not a guy I like. I would trifle with, but I feel like Chuck is fucking... He's a pretty hefty fellow himself. I mean, I mean, Chuck trying to do like the gotcha journalism to like Durant on the post game show is I found. I didn't see, think that. No, I gotcha. disagree. I, I thought that Durant was like looks stupid here because like really, see, like he's, make, he he's making a joke. They're having fun on like he's gonna be like, why don't you go fucking fight him? Yeah. Like, I, oh, I, I didn't see I that. Way. I would have busted Draymond's balls with Chuck there. Yeah. I would have been like, oh yeah, that guy's the worst. Right. Some, you know, I mean, like, I, where it's I clearly mean, a joke. Well, no, Durant knows anything he says. It, Durant can't say anything right. Everything he says, it's like Durant did this, Durant did that, Durant responded to this. Oh, I got you. So like yeah, he, yeah, yeah. he's in such a bad spot with any question he's asked. It's like just go asking yourself if you really want to ask that. Part. I just yeah, thought it was a he weird he, the, the way he asked it. Was See, we're even life. doing it now with Durant, where he's in such a spot where no matter how he answers, you're like, oh, I can't believe he he agreed and called him annoying, or I can't. Believe yeah, but he I think if he agreed, I think it was clearly kind of a joke. I think if he rolled uh, with a joke style, like in a joking manner, it wouldn't have been. I just think it's a weird thing. It's one thing when you do that to like some dweeb reporter where it's like, you're really gonna talk shit about yeah. about Draymond. But I think Charles Barkley is like allowed to do that. Yeah, I wouldn't fight Charles That's Barkley. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, and like no, he's got the you. experience. He was a former player. I think you're allowed to say that shit if you're Chuck. And uh, the, the thing is too with like it's the Kevin Durant like you can't really just get like I guess you'll lose what you're saying. Where you can't really say anything, but like, right, dude, you have burner accounts. Like, you, you can't, oh, yeah. you can't no, like, like so get offended by someone asking no. if someone's annoying. Like, I don't think you, he was offended. You've been famously caught like liking Instagram oh, yeah. posts. So like, he's, he's just, as like snowflake not, as a well, guest. He's not quick on his feet. He doesn't know how to answer that question in like a funny, like look good to everybody way. So he just kind of is like, just go ask him, yeah. man. Like, don't it's, don't put this on me. Uh, we got the I, maybe I, the I most. Think, I think you misinterpreted. I don't think he was asking a sh saying a sheep. Oh no! Thing. I just I think, think Kevin Durant doesn't know how to answer questions, so he's like, just go ask him. Like, leave me alone. Maybe. We got the most pathetic thing I've ever seen uh, <laughs> coming out of the Knicks camp. I don't know who's putting these up. If it's, I think it's fans, right? Is it fans? Is it one of these like we bought a billboard type of things? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, a team can't do that. Not a team, but I wasn't. You know, sometimes if it was like a, a company or it's some like, sort yeah, of it's like, like a lobby, it's like lobbyists yeah. for the Knicks. Uh, it says. LeBron, you're the king of New York, hashtag, uh, it says prove it. Hashtag LeBron to NYC 2018. He's not, he's not gonna come here, guys. <laughs> yeah, like, he's not gonna come here. Well, I mean, how I mean, delusional do you have to Well, let me say LeBron this, like, come to New York? if it wasn't for James Dolan, I think he actually would, because I do think LeBron would love the idea that That's he revitalizes thinking. the Mecca and he's the one who brings it back. But he's also like aging, wants to win now, yeah. doesn't like the bullshit doesn't have time for the fucking James Dolans of the world. So, like, there's no shot he comes. Yeah, LeBron sure. doesn't typically go to bad teams. No. He went back to Cleveland. It was, Cleveland was a good team. Right, they, right. They just yeah, like, people are talking like, about him going to the Sixers because it's, like, basically a championship on a platter yeah. for you. You're not going to go to the fucking right. Knicks and play with Joe Houston Noah. was a possibility, too, right? The yeah. LeBrockets or whatever? Houston, yeah, Lakers, I mean, he's going to just pick or, one of these. I mean, the Lakers are going to be one of these, you know, he's, he wants to go to L.A. But everyone else is, like, pick the best team and join them. Yeah. So, uh... Don't waste your breath, Knicks fans. I get, that's really pathetic. That's sad. I mean, it I is. guess like maybe if it's a joke or you like if it's done by a company. But I if remember. You're just a fan I, I mean, I'll tell you, LeBron, we I'm did really we did like three years of bringing KD to the Wizards. Yeah, but you did, had a reason. No, and he didn't even take a phone call. Yeah. <laughs> Wizards, so uh, it doesn't always work. You had you at least had a reason. I made LeBron hope, like the Obama like color. You know those remember those shirts? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we put his face on. We said hope. That was like the first time around when he was a free. We agent. did an election button. That didn't work. That, you did that it. back in the Miami one or the Cleveland one? The back Miami, like the first one. Really? Really? Yeah. The decision? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, we were we were pushing for that. So that was like 2000, I don't even know. I don't know. Like 10. Maybe he'll do like Mellow when he's like, 
mad old and is just like chucking yeah, that's, up shots. Yeah, that, that's what the Knicks would do. They'll yeah. bring LeBron here when he's 30 fucking nine. I mean, MJ retired a wizard. People forget that, so. I don't think people forget know. that. Uh, <laughs> we got uh, second half of the rundown is brought to you by Seeky. You want to go Seeky. see? Shout out Seeky. You want <laughs> Nate Seeky? Nate, Yo, you, Nate, you went to see what show? I oh well, I went to see the Las Vegas Golden Knights playoff oh, game. Oh right, okay. From my uh, buddies at Seeky, and it was the coolest freaking game. Like, how awesome. how awesome was the pregame in person? I mean, they you see the video, and you know the whole Vegas Knights experience is hyped up. It lived up to it and more. Yep, it was just I believe like, that. It was different than any other game I've been to. It was just like really, really, really cool. And but do you think that's because you went into it like this is going to be such a well, crazy a lot of times it was like all right, was. it can't be as good as they say. It was as and good as they say. Like the crowd was crazy. Like all the in game. Wait, stuff, you were there for the clincher, right? That not was last for the night, clincher, right? for uh, to go up three to three to one. Yeah, yeah. It was just really, they really, are just really cool. Awesome. Awesome. Like John Taffer's in my row, rolling. like he was oh, nice. really cool dude. Like it was, uh, you said, I think you had a tweet that said they don't stop serving alcohol there. No, well, well there's there's no rules rules about about it. Vegas, yeah, I had to. Like, I thought oh, that was like an America blanket. I, walk I thought that was like the league, you know, like the NHL. Was I did like, too. We have to abide by the rules. I'd walk through a bar to get to my seats. Like there was no yeah, other way to get to my seats besides through the bar. It, so like it was just like at the another top round of the bartender. Section. Like so, Man, yeah, they don't awesome. cut off beer. I was rooting for overtime so much just because I wanted keep it going forever. To do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, shout out Seeky, best people in the world. Shout out uh, Ryan Whitney, who was put on fucking blast by the the Golden Knights. We talked about it on radio on Friday. <laughs> for those who haven't seen it, He's, they put together like a highlight reel of uh, oh, yeah. all the people talking shit. And Muppets' exact quote was like. They're gonna be a, the. They're gonna be a doormat this yeah. year. Yeah. Vegas is gonna get absolutely crushed. <laughs> they projected his quote on, on the, the ice, and they the had ice. they had his fucking voice broadcast yeah. through the whole stadium. It was even whole, their whole own, arena. but like that's one of those things. Like their owner said that. Like uh, actually, their owner didn't say it was gonna be a doormat before the season started. He said what three seasons to the playoffs? But that, he said also... three seasons to playoffs, six seasons to make a real run. This year, all they want to do is not lose games by six. Yeah, like yeah, that's, that's basically that's, admitting we're going to be a doormat. It's called managing expectations. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whitney's just a Muppet. That's the difference. <laughs> I mean, yeah, see, we, uh, they hooked it up. Oh, yeah, so Schooly check 20. out. You want to be like Nate? You want to go see, you know, once in a lifetime experience? Go download the free Seeky app. Go to settings. Code rundown. You get $10 off your first order. You can go to games, concerts, shows, whatever. Meet Tiger Woods. Meet Tiger. The whole nine. I don't know about that. No, no guarantees. No, if you see Seeky, you meet Tiger. That's a rule. It's I a mean, fact. I'm one for one. There you go. 100%. <laughs> yeah. uh, the new rule that Starbucks has put out there is that you can now use their bathroom. But you don't even have to buy anything. <laughs> so uh, Twitter was buzzing about this. I really? Don't, I don't have much to say other than, like, uh, I mean, there have been times where I've been like, all right, I'll fucking buy a water. You know? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I, I don't think you it know? is. I think I, it's, I it's, think a, it's a minor inconvenience, but. You're going to run into a homeless situation now. Starbucks. Oh, big time. Yeah. You're going to run into a homeless guy jerking off in your bathroom oh, all the time. Oh, big That's, time. I, I mean, mean I don't understand why you need to do that. Yeah. Right. It's like just it's like a little bit of a cover charge to keep the homeless yeah, away from shitting. Yeah, Starbucks has that, that premiere feel yeah, to it. Yeah, now it's not going to have that at all. Now you got to just like... You know, even just like when they're waiting online, everywhere. you're going to have a line of homeless. It sucks. While you're trying to have your mocha latte as you like blog. You know, I've logged into Starbucks before. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I've I've basically I've been like a little bit homeless in in a in a Starbucks before. Like you do like a night out where you didn't go home. You're like basically brushing your teeth in yeah, there, yeah. changing your clothes. You're doing a, a sink shower, <laughs> and like you done that? Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've right. gotten that those moments. I have blogged at a, like a Starbucks. Like I think it was like two summers ago. I was in Newport. I've just, done like, that. Didn't make it back to the office. So I've just, gone to, my laptop to a Starbucks. Brooks Brothers, grabbed like a shirt and all that shit. Wow. Sink shower, brush the teeth, throw everything away, hit the office. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the people who have to mop up the Starbucks, their jobs just that like stinks. a whole lot worse. That really blows for them. But besides that, like, I feel like But when you places, gotta go. I, I think this is yeah. also this is a little PR play. Starbucks, mm. been in the, in I mean, the shit. A couple a little people little. get arrested. Yeah. You know. Let them pee. <laughs> let them pee. <laughs> like, now you just let people jerk <laughs> off in your, in your restrooms. When you gotta go, you gotta go, though. Like this dude on Frontier Airline. Who just whipped it out? Just fucking whipped it out, and he just peed on the seat in front of him. That's when she says her flight turned into a nightmare. She snapped this photo of him slouching in his seat, and then snapped this. But while I have my phone out and like you know trying to take a discreet photo, he starts to pee and urinate on the seat in front of him. We've blurred the picture, but it shows a stream of urine hitting the back of the seat. And I scream. He's 
peeing, peeing, he's peeing, oh my God, oh my God. And the flight attendant doesn't even acknowledge him first, acknowledges me and says, um, you need to calm down and stop cursing. Which, that dude's got a stream. <laughs> that guy got a, a good stream to be able Why? to. You oh, I could pee like that. For like the first initial burst, but when you're wrapping up, that's just dribbling all over oh, you yeah, in your no. own seat. Yeah, you're definitely pissing Like, I can do bit, like but... the one, two, three, boom, blast off and get there, but then. <laughs> that's when you gotta hold it a little bit? When it's slowly. Do you ever like play piss <laughs> games? Do that motion. You like, you'll hold it a little bit and then you just let it fire out quick again? Yeah, yeah. You just like lazy me, like pinch it. I mean, bam! Could you? It, bam. Not, you can't hold too long, though, by the way. No, it's Because I feel like it's going to just like shoot up <laughs> in you, you know? Could you pee in front of people like that? Or do you get, like, pee I nervous? Mean, this guy was beyond wasted. Uh, he was blacked out. But... I don't know if I have stage fright. I don't think I do, but I haven't really been in the scenario. No. I don't have stage fright, like, at a urinal. I know that. But I don't know about, like, like when PFT couldn't pee his pants in front of yeah, everyone. Yeah, you don't have that? I think I could do that. I mean... I like to think so. I don't. It's not something I've tried. I would be upset with myself if I couldn't. I'd be like, "What? You're afraid to fucking just fucking yeah, you've been doing it your whole life. It's piss. Like, yeah. It's like, uh, well, you don't even know how to piss anymore. Frontier it's, so Frontier. I mean, I as always, when we talk about spirit, are they and, new spirit? Are they the new spirit? Is spirit I, uh, you, better? You get what you pay for. Like that's that's always the answer with these airlines. If a stewardess like assaults you, or you get kicked off the plane, or the whole thing smells like shit, or whatever it may be, when you pay like thirty bucks for a for a flight. That's this, what's gonna happen. The, the line in this was the stewardess told her to slide over seats, <laughs> yeah. even in a row. Like he was in a different row. Yeah. But she just still get, told her to go to the window, just in case he tries to assault you. <laughs> like they've like seen it before. That was that, the solution. That's the best. Like just one more seat. Slide one seat over, just in case this dude tries to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> that's that's the service you get uh, on Frontier. Did, so and they, well, that's all mm -hmm. they did. Like they they land the plane, he gets arrested afterwards. Yeah. Has, yeah. yeah. She said. I, mean, I they, guess there's nothing else you can do. She said that also the woman got in trouble before the guy got in trouble. Cause she was screaming, he's fucking pissing. He's fucking pissing. She and they disrupted in the air. Like, yeah. Watch your language. Like, can you, can you <laughs> yeah. stop cursing, please? Like, can you clean up the pile of piss? I think that there needs to be, especially on like Frontier, I think you need to have like a plane jail. That's like maybe like beneath, like if you fuck around on a plane, you get like put in a box beneath for the rest of the flight. <laughs> a little deterrence. Like if that guy just gets to ride the rest of the flight, what's gonna stop him? I mean, maybe the arrest afterwards, but you know, if, if it's like, we're going to put you in a fucking coffin beneath deck, it's and you're going to ride that for the rest of the when six hours, arrest, I don't think you're going to piss on that. That's why you do Frontier, because, like, anything goes. That's yeah. where the people just, like, fuck in front of the rest of the plane, and they never turn, like, the spirit of the Frontier I'll around. tell you what, last they time we saw it that, going. it was someone coming back from Vegas. Oh, yeah. Surprise, yeah. maybe... Any thoughts about that on, on your plane ride home? People are way too hungover on flight home. Yeah, I feel like you fly. You too Vegas. Yeah, yeah, too Vegas. Everybody's you like jazzed up. People start yeah. drinking like once you hit like that cruising altitude. On oh, the yeah. way back, there was a baby crying. I thought someone was gonna slap the baby. <laughs> like, I was. I love how Nate did the motion there. Just, I was gonna be like, don't you just want to slap stuff. a baby yeah. across the face sometimes? He puts the thumb down like that too. Who holds a hand like he that? Goes, he goes. He's really very. The thumb is very funny. It's like what. I don't know. I would just be like a little more relaxed with my thumb. Oh, uh, I do a stiff hand. It actually, hurts my thumb. <laughs> How often do you slap? Babies often. <laughs> you the, teach uh, them a lesson. the thing with the problem with the with the plane jail though, is like I feel like I guess no. This would this would stop that. What what happens now is someone knows they're in trouble. And it's like in hockey when you like know you got a penalty, you're like, all right, I'm gonna get someone in the box with me. Yeah. You're like, I'm gonna like, start I'll take you down with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, well, whatever, like, I'm throw them in. I'm too. getting arrested, I'm gonna fuck with everybody now. Like, <laughs> any walls down someone, Twitter jail. Just become an instigator. Somebody, my plane jail with me. I'm a Frontier Airlines instigator. <laughs> I was in jail this weekend on Twitter. I got my yeah, Twitter jail, 12 hours. Uh, Twitter's gone so soft, I can't take it anymore. It's your boy KFC coming to you live from Twitter jail. I've been suspended for the next 12 hours for telling some dude to jump off a bridge, but he tweeted me first saying that he hates me so much that I make him want to jump off a bridge, and all I did was retweet him back and say, please jump. That's fair game, Twitter. That's someone coming at me. You know what? That's, that's verbal abuse. I'm now depressed because he was verbally abusing me, so you better suspend him. He was telling me how bad I am, so now I'm, I'm hurt and I'm psychologically traumatized. Fuck you, Twitter. That guy should jump off a bridge. Free KFC. All I said was, please jump. <laughs> it was a fantastic response. I mean, the guy said to me, he said, your tweets, or your, it was either your tweets, your tweets or your content are, is, is so terrible, every time I read it, it makes me want to jump off a bridge.
show. I said, please do. <laughs> I mean, so does he report you or does he Twitter must have. just like somebody? See it? Somebody reported me. I think. I don't think Twitter. If Twitter can just randomly see those things, that means they're scouring so I constantly. Think, yeah. I think that motherfucker reported me. I'll tell you this. I think they see it now because I've seen. A, there's a guy who he tweets "fuck you, Nate" to every one of my tweets, and then respect. So yeah, exactly. Like hat tip to that guy. Like no <laughs> days off. And he then tweeted something like, Twitter just got me in trouble for tweeting, fuck you, Nate. And I was like, oh, I guess this guy got suspended or like. And you didn't report I, him. No, not at all. I just mm -hmm. checked like every single time. Like, there mm -hmm. he is. That's mm -hmm. my guy. Like mm -hmm. every single tweet. And then he got suspended uh, off I mean, Twitter. I wonder if this guy was just like planning on doing that, like trying to bait me just to, just to, no. just to no, report me. No, I think me. you're giving him a little too much credit here. Yeah. So I just can't, I just, the process, the thought process behind reporting drives me crazy. I don't even know how you do it. How do you that report? guy was like, I'm going to like tweet this guy about killing myself. And then he writes back, he's busted my balls. I'm going to go report him. That is the ultimate like. No, it's like move. Tex it's got so suspended. Didn't Tex get suspended for tell saying that he hates the Yodel kid? He's a Yodel kid. He said he wanted to kill him. Should or kill him. Right? That's accurate. Right. I, I bet you they maybe do. They do have some sort of uh, I mean, Yodel kid is the future. <laughs> he's, see, he's a double gunpoint guy too. That Not was only amazing. That, the way he did it, he was like. He's signing heads like, and uh, double gunpointing. Yeah, he's the best. He he is. He's taking pictures with Post Malone. Yeah. That, that song is a good song. Was it famous? Yeah, it's really yeah, good. It's so I mean, fucked. That kid is the future <laughs> tech song, I tell you. <laughs> I, I actually, he's almost won me over. Like, I fucking hated him. But he's just doing his thing, like, so much that I don't know if I can hate him anymore. Just like, what do you want him to do? He's famous now. now. How long did he wave? wear the same outfit for before he forever. has to change? Yeah. Forever. Yeah. Forever? You just rock that outfit forever. Oh, okay. speaking of. What? Forgot it in Boston. It's getting overnighted to me. I was gonna say, like, what are we gonna do? Yeah, it's that's, like, that's like, you, that's like if I left Shay somewhere. <laughs> no, I left her in Boston. Whoops. That's your baby, dude. Yeah. And I was so used to just like not even doing my hair anymore because I just put a yeah, hat on, yeah, so yeah. I didn't have to put this hat on today because I didn't do my hair this morning. It's a tough one. It's a whole thing. Yeah, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. thing. It's probably a little oh. messy. All right. Well, that's the rundown. That's the rundown. Nate, good to have you back, baby. It's good to be back. Yes. Laughing.